In this lecture, we will discuss the probability in LT spies. This topic is the fundamental for worst case analysis in the following lectures. Now let's begin. So there are three commonly used distributions in LT spies. The first one is Gaussian distribution, also known as normal distribution. The syntax is GAUSS, Gauss of X. It gives a random number from Gaussian distribution with a sigma x and a zero mean. Sigma is the standard deviation in normal distribution. And the mu is the mean, which is zero in this case. In this figure, the y-axis shows the probability density function, and x-axis shows the data points. This plot tells you the probability of each specific number that is randomly created by the Gaussian distribution. Remember the integral of the distribution density from minus infinity to plus infinity is 1. It tells you that you have 100% of chance to see a number that lies in between minus infinity and plus infinity. For example, in this case, the mean has the highest chance to be seen in the data set because it has the peak of the probability density function. Notice that about 68% of data lies in between one sigma difference from minus sigma to plus sigma. 95% of data will fall between two sigma divisions and 99.7% of data will fall between three sigma divisions. This is so called the three sigma rule as a commonly used outlier detection rule. It tells you that probability of sample data falls out of plus or minus three sigma is only 0.3%, which is very low. The second one is the uniform distribution. The syntax is flat of x, which gives a random number between minus x and x. Uniform distribution means that all values have an equal chance of occurring, so they have the same probability density function, which is 1 over 2x, because the shaded area is 1. The third probability distribution is Monte Carlo of random probability distribution. It is also a uniform distribution with a minimal number x times 1 minus y and the maximum number is x times 1 plus y. In this case, x usually is the nominal value and y is the tolerance. The first example is a transient simulation of three different probability distributions in LT spice. We use transient simulation dot T R A N. This is a schematic capture in LT spice. So we define three different voltage sources using Gaussian, flat, and Monte Carlo distribution. We have a parameter as T O L tolerance zero point zero five. In this example, we have a step function over a parameter x from 1 to 100, and the increment is 1. It works as a dummy variable to make a for loop. So the index x is changing from 1 to 100. So that means we run the simulation 100 times. The total number of iteration is 100 in this case. At every iteration, v1, v2, and v3 remain at the newly created voltage level by its own distribution. Again, the first one is Gaussian distribution. Second one is uniform distribution. The last one is Monte Carlo. This is the transient simulation setup. We run each simulation for 10 microseconds. We measure the average value of each voltage source, V1, V2, and V3, give the name as Gauss flat MC, respectively. 
we obtain the voltage level at each iteration, and they are saved in a log file. We run the trending simulation, and we see three different distributions in the plot. The first one is Gaussian. We can see that there are more samples around the mean, around zero, because it has higher probability density. For uniform distribution in the middle and multi color, we can see that the samples are pretty evenly distributed among the data range. Each distribution requires significant number of simulation times to get an estimated minimum and maximum for worst case conditions because we are interested in the minimum and maximum values. Apparently, the last one, Monte Carlo, is the best option to simulate component's tolerance, given x as the nominal value and y as the tolerance. So how to plot the data at each iteration? Now we go to view and go to spice error log. Hotkey is control with L. We right click over the data and choose plot. Now a window pops up for plotting. We right click and choose add traces. Here are the available traces to plot. You can use left click to choose the one you want to plot. It shows the final result of data in 100 iterations. The y-axis is the voltage level of each distribution. X-axis shows the iteration from 1 to 100. This is the second example we used dot .op, the DCL printing point, to better visualize the data. So we have the similar setup, the parameter and the step function, but here we use dot .op, so it gives the DC operating point at each iteration, which makes the simulation much, much easier and quicker. After we run the simulation, we can add traces, and we can see the similar results as before. Just to recap, in this lecture, we discussed three different probability distributions in LTSpice, including Gaussian distribution, also known as the normal distribution, uniform distribution. The last one is Monte Carlo distribution, which is the best method to simulate component tolerance. Two examples are given here. The first one, we use trending simulation to find the output from each distribution in time domain. The second example, we use dot .op to find the DC operating point of each voltage, which makes the simulation much easier. Here are the reference I use for this lecture. Uh, it's highly recommended to take a look. All done for this lecture. Thank you. See you next time.